Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very quick episode here on the Am I Gardener channel. You are going to love this because of the fact that I'm bringing something to you that you all need to be up in arms about. And so everyone really likes to, everyone really likes to talk about the new products on the market. And I'm going to show you a product that you should hate. And I hate this. I actually went to the store and I bought it. I kept the receipt so I could return it. And because I couldn't really say stuff in the store that I'd like to say here in the privacy of my home. So that is why I am here and not at the store. I hate this product. Just let's put it that way. Um, so let's give you some context clues so you can get into the kind of feel of why I'm, I'm feeling this way. A lot of bigger companies, for instance, Jif, or uh, yeah, the Jif peanut butter, um, they have always, they've been around for a very long time. But they've always produced peanut butter with a lot of chemicals and preservatives. And it's not Jif that I hate. In fact, I, I'm very happy with them. Um, they were a really large company. But they saw something that the consumer wanted, and that was a more organic, less chemical-laden product. And they said, you know what? Look, we are not necessarily too proud to switch up our product and to to give the consumer what they want because it's in the best interest of the consumer. So what do they do? They came out with the GIF Naturals. Ha my hat goes off to you guys. It's definitely something that a big company, uh, you know, they might have a lot of operating income. They might have a lot of cash flow coming in, but it still takes a lot of effort to switch over your manufacturing to something that you haven't been doing ever. So it's still stressful for a company to do that no matter how big it is. But the thing that upsets me the most is a company that for the longest time has been doing something that consumers hate and then they put out the exact same product with fluff. And you probably know what kind of fluff I'm talking about. So this is not about the brand, okay? This is not about the brand of what I'm about to show you. This is not about even the product. It's about the hypocrisy that involves the words being used on a day-to-day -day basis that are deceiving people in this, in this movement of gardening and home gardening movement, um, it's deceiving them into thinking something else. And I hate when stigmas are made. For the longest time, uh, gardening was just an old lady's hobby. And I'm breaking down that stigma, and a lot of other people are breaking down that stigma to make it a fun, hip, new hobby for new people that want to help the earth, that want to help their bodies, that want to better society, okay? You have a product here put out by another, none other than Mir miracle Grow, in the form of Nature's Care Organic Potting Mix with Water Conserve. Okay, anyone see any red flags right off the bat? Well, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, that is a trademark product, Water Conserve. Last time I checked, uh, hmm, uh, compost couldn't be trademarked. Um, uh, vermiculite couldn't be trademarked. Uh, uh, worm castings couldn't be trademarked. Water Conserve. Is that an additive? Just wondering. Um, so you now have right on the right off the the get-go, you have organic potting mix with some type of chemical additive that conserves water. Um, yeah, uh, so major red flag there. Then you see down here, Omri listed. So obviously Omri has not caught on to that fact yet, um, and maybe it is organic, maybe it isn't, but um, you should not be trademarking something that's organic. It should all be just additives. Should just be additives um, that are organic additives. Um, so then we get to the back, and the back is where I'm most outraged, and this is where the hypocrisy begins. Are you ready? So you're probably wondering by now, what could I possibly be so up in arms about that I, I have never posted anything on this channel that I hate? I mean, hate is a really strong word and holds a lot of weight, and I literally hate this product. So let's talk about why. On the back here. This is where the hypocrisy and fluffage begins. You see, a, this is I'm reading right from here. I'll take a screenshot so you can read along with me. 
We're going to read from the thing that says, Our commitment to sustainability. Did you know that you're partnering with us, one of the world's largest recycling efforts? Each year we beneficially reuse millions of pounds of materials from yards, farms, and forests to use in our uh, nature's care soils, potting mixes, and uh, la di la di la di to help grow plants that enhance your environment and make the world more beautiful. Enhance the environment, make the world more beautiful, and they're taking it from uh, forests and stuff. Um, it's our commitment to sustainability. Um, okay, now let's look over at the ingredients. All right. This product is formulated from sphagnum peat moss, processed forest products. Oh, and then we get to coir and organic fertilizer and yucca. So, basically, this is a prime example of how a company does not want to change a single aspect of what they're doing and just rebrand it. Not like Jif Peanut Butter, who actually changed their entire manufacturing process. This is a company that says, says that instead says, you know, most likely our people are so dumb that they don't know what they're actually buying. And if we put a really fun name, a cool rebranded bag with a bunch of different hit words like organic and sustainable and conserving and environmental, all those fun words that we like to talk about as organic gardeners and as people that really try to actually practice sustainability and um, doing the common good, uh, we like those words. So let's put those words on this bag to sell it to people that are un unaware. Okay, huge issue with that. Let's see here. Okay, sphagnum moss, one of the least most sustainable products there is in the gardening movement. Um, it's mined from ancient bogs that take hundreds if not thousands of years to replenish. Not sustainable, and that is the first ingredient. Then the next one really bothers me because of how it ties in directly to what they're saying in their sustainability part. Processed forest products. So you're saying you're deforesting in the process of helping enhance the environment and making the world more beautiful. Okay, <laughs> let's stop for a second and all get really upset at how those two things make zero, and I mean zero sense if you actually put the two and two together. If I go out and I chop down two acres of forest, is that beautiful? If I completely dry cut land and mulch everything up into a nice fluffy mulch to put someone's flowers on their patio, is that making the world more beautiful? I don't think so. Um, so you can put in your input in the comments box below. Again. Ignore the fact that this is from miracle Grow. It could have been from anyone. What I'm saying is, is as organic gardeners or inorganic gardeners, be what you are and be proud of it. Don't try to skirt around the issue using hit words to try to sell products because all it does is create a stigma that people that are actually doing this are only in it for the profit or for selling product um, and really have no common goal. You know, I thought better of you um, I, I don't use miracle Grow products, um, and now I really don't use miracle Grow products, but, you know, it just goes to show that, you know, man, you really have to use your brain, because even with something as simple as organic, there's still someone trying to pull a fast one. I mean, it really disappoints me, and, uh, it was not what I wanted to film today, but unfortunately, that's what it came to, so, um, not all that great, but uh, it had to be said by someone. It has to be brought to light, you know, and um, if you can get a hold of Miracle Grow and let them know, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to hear about their, I'd like to hear about their, their branding efforts here and uh, see what they really had in mind. Um, 
you know, feel free to contact me. Uh, I am I am more than able to be contacted. So Miracle Grow, if you're watching this, um, or if someone's watching this and wants to send it to Miracle Grow, please do. I would love a response back because I'd love to know how deforesting and ruining peat bogs is helping our environment and being sustainable, um, and why coir or compost was not the first ingredient, but instead the last ingredient. So just a little bit upset. Um, and uh, just trying to defend those that are actually doing good. So, uh, Jif Peanut Butter, thumbs up. Uh, Miracle Girl, sorry, you get a thumbs down. So, I will talk to you all later. This is Luke from MI Gardener, hoping to come to you with another happy episode next time. Hoping you all are growing big or going home, and I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.